All right, folks. If you ever have a uh, car with electronic fuel injection and it hasn't started for a while and, you know, it's 30 degrees out outside, freezing weather. Last time it started was a month ago. So you know it's in good shape. You know it starts, but it cranks and it won't start. So before you start jumping into things and changing your crank sensor, your cam sensor, your coil, your spark plugs, and get a little crazy, if it cranks and it don't start, let's check for fuel. Okay, and the easiest way to do it is, can it come out carburetor cleaner? What you want to do is you want to spray it into this intake manifold here. Okay, there's a little hose over here for the PCV valve. I'm going to go through that way. Otherwise, look for an opening in your intake, whether you have a little port like that or uh, another hose that goes there through a sensor. What you do is basically just take the hose off. That's what I usually do. Take your little carburetor cleaner. Oops, with the straw. Oops. All right, I gotta get another straw. But you get the basic idea. What you wanna do is you wanna spray it in there. Okay, and then give it a crank. I gotta find my straw now. But uh, give it a crank. If it wants to start, then you know you have a fuel problem. Okay, because it will spark up and it would want to start. So you know there's nothing wrong with the ignition, nothing wrong with the ECM, nothing wrong with that stuff. You get a little crazier and uh, get a fuel pressure gauge on here, see if you got a fuel pressure. But just remember, the clue was, what I said was, it was 30 degrees in that area for at least a week or so. So that means on this car was a frozen fuel line. Yeah, you could put that, uh, you know, gas line, antifreeze, and all that stuff in your tank. But it stays in the tank. Even if you run the car, okay, it's going to be in here that's going to be frozen. It's going to be in this little plastic rubber line that goes underneath the car that can be frozen. Anywhere in there can be frozen. So before you get a little crazy, you can either push the car into warm weather, uh, maybe have like some kind of a portable propane heater blasting onto the car to try to warm it up but either way it's a fuel problem if you spray carburetor cleaner in it some people use ether um, if you feel a little spark and it wants to go then you know it's not ignition related okay? it's fuel related so what we did here was I tried it for a couple times till the battery died then I recharged it and it wanted to start, but it wouldn't get it. Sometimes you can get it to start. A little piece of ice, whatever here, would go through and break up, and then it'll start. But uh, after killing the battery once, it's not starting. I knew it was weather-related because this car does run like a top. So I waited till today. Today is 52, 55 degrees right now. I went in there, and I turned on the key. And you guys know how that works, right? Hang on a second. Let me bring it inside take my can so I don't fall in the engine on most cars when you first turn on the key you're gonna hear the fuel pump hum a little bit all right it's gonna hum for a couple of seconds that means it's gonna prime the fuel towards the front you know, if you can do it here let me see if I can close the door yeah, that's my can Let's see. close up a little tighter can just turn the key see if you can hear the hum ready see I'm gonna shut off do it again stick the key in I'm gonna say start and I'm gonna say finish when the when you hear it ready start finish let's see if I can point it down a little further down here maybe here from the back ready finish Got to say start. But anyway, yeah, when you first turn it on, the first looks like five seconds. It's going to prime the fuel onto the line. Then it's going to be able to start right away. There you go. All right, so that's a way to uh, figure out if you have a uh, ignition problem or a fuel problem. All right, besides the check engine light that I have here. But uh, yeah, that's the way to go.
All right, I always spray a little carburetor cleaner and see if it starts. If it starts, then you know it's not ignition related, it's fuel related. And if you are in cold weather, and this car was, uh, it was northeast here, was pretty cold for about a week, week and a half. So that was when I decided to start the car and run it. And that is exactly when it didn't want to start. The dark behind me, 69, starts with no problem. I spray a little carburetor cleaner and the carburetor kicks right over. Electronic fuel injection is a little bit different, people. All right, here we're running. Runs like a top. All right, so you have cars running and sitting for a while. Start it up every every month. Let it run for a good 20 minutes, half an hour. Listen, you want to keep it running and roll it a little bit, okay? Put it in drive in reverse and get it off the flat side of the tire. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Ciao.